But you can think of the sharing economy as really just a marketplace. Rather than you buying from a company, you're actually buying from another individual. Whether you are getting into a rideshare car, or whether you are taking on a vacation home, or you're getting on-demand services or on-demand delivery, you're basically living in that moment. Our insurance products are designed to ensure that moment. When an account is submitted to us, the first thing we think of is, is what is the, what is the concept? What are they trying to do? Then we can start identifying the exposures, thinking about the coverage that's most applicable, and then categorizing and assigning a price. We can embed that pricing right in their business models, which then allows them to grow. We have worked with everyone from the very early startup company to companies that we've frankly seen go public, which is amazing to see that growth in such a short amount of time. What was really key to me, though, was having a very open culture where people could challenge each other. Our team gets energized by it. It's about applying creativity to solve their need. And sometimes, you know, for a big company, their need is balance sheet protection. But so many of the companies we work with, and they don't even really have a balance sheet to protect, it's more a strategic growth goal for them. So they're saying, you know, we need to attract more people onto our platform. We need more users. They won't come on unless there's something protecting them. And so those are the trust and safety tools. And insurance is an important part of that. To write this business that we're writing, you have to be on the forefront of creativity. Our clients are small, medium, large, and we can actually put products in place that allow them to grow. Because what we're doing, being innovative, there's no real right answer, and you have to be very flexible in trying to come up with that solution. We've been given this, this unique and wonderful opportunity to not worry about silos, not worry about small, medium, and large, not worry about GL, auto liability, techino, and cyber as individual things. We can sit with a customer and ask them, what is it you need? What are the things you're trying to protect? What are what are the things that can cause you to succeed or fail? And then build from that. We're people who are more innovative and more open-minded, but respectful of you know, thoughtfulness that goes into underwriting and pricing and the profitability of a book. Every discussion, everything we do, it always has to come back to the profitability. The coming together of Y Risk and the Hartford has created huge strategic benefits to both companies. We are so much more empowered and enabled by the depth of what the Hartford brings, and it's the people. There are individuals out there who understand insurance very, very well. What they have gained is this ability to have a very independent business that allows them to have an incubator of ideas. The ability to be innovative, to have creative ways of underwriting, to take on a little bit more risk than a traditional uh, business. If they notice that their traditional products aren't covering a need in the marketplace, please call on us because those ideas is where we're going to generate new products. And rather than lose market share, let's find a way to keep that market share by creating products to cover that risk.